Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I get so many questions on these 3D block letters. First off is I got it on Etsy. The designer is Nomara Quintella and she has an Instagram account as well so you can see all her stuff. But I will say this is an awesome file. I have not had any issues with any of the letters that I've worked on. I did buy the whole pack, letters, accents, accents, marks, and numbers pack because it was just cheaper and I knew I was gonna eventually use it. When you buy this and you download it, this is what it's gonna come over as. It's gonna come over in a zip file because there is so much in here. <laughs> so once you open up this file, you're then into another layer. Now it's broken down into accents and signs, letters and numbers. So I'm doing a special request today because you guys have so many questions on how to resize something. So uh, we're gonna go into letters and I've already downloaded all these letters, but I wanna show you how to do one so that you know how to do it. So let's say we're gonna do the letter Q, okay? So you go into the letter Q folder I double click on it and you have the options of all these different file types. We're going to want the SVG file. So double click on that one. And then here you have two options. You have a dashed line score or a single line score. So I actually prefer the dashed line score. What it does is um, just think of where wherever you need to fold it, it's going to have a cut dash line. So it makes it, it cuts in but obviously it's just a dashed line so it won't cut off the whole thing, but um, it just makes it so much easier to fold the tabs. So I definitely always bring in this one. I just drop it into my desktop, okay? So then what I'll do is go into design space and go to upload, and you're gonna have to upload each individual letter. So go to upload image, browse, and if you remember, it's called cut file something something. <laughs> so here are all my cut files. So you can see all the letters that I've done already. We did Q, so let's just double click on Q. And I need to be better about naming these. I have not been, I just dropped them in. So I'm, so click on, you know, upload. The thing is this will go into images. So next time when you're searching for it, and you'll see in a second, why I've done such a bad job because I now need to spell out this name and it's six letters and it's all over the place and I can't find it myself. So what I'm gonna do is when you upload a lot of things, um, this is what I would recommend. Go to images. Oops, let's, can okay, sorry. Let's cancel out of that for a second. Let's go to images. So I am spelling, this is, like I said, this is a special request. The name is Adriel. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna upload all, or insert all six letters, and then I'm gonna show you how to resize it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the quickest way that I found is if you don't name your files correctly, like myself, then you wanna to go to ownership and definitely just click on uploaded. So these are only your files. So I've amazingly have uploaded 869. Let's see how well this works for me. So here's A. Nothing, okay. <laughs> Let's see, cut. Does that help me? Okay, maybe. So here's L, R. Um, let's go search for my file. So L and R, I know there's E. So L and R. And E. So I'm looking for A, D, and I. This is what I get for not naming them properly. Okay, so A, D, and I. So you can see everything that I've uploaded. Some fun stuff here. Um, A, D, and I. Where are you? Okay, here's D. All right, so just A. And I, right? Um, don't tell me I've passed it. I may have passed it. I don't think it, I don't think I've bought it from way back then. Okay, so we've got almost all the letters. I don't want to ignore this letter because this letter may be the one that changes the sizing of everything, so. I must have missed it up here. Yep, here's my eye. 
All right, insert images. So in order to, because we're doing six letters, this is what I'll say about it. The tabs aren't consistent in a sense that um, you never know which one's gonna be the longest tab, okay? So first, what you wanna do is, let's make this screen really small so that we can see all our letters, okay? You wanna keep them together. So for instance, we just moved I down here, and I think we actually need to go to 25%. Okay, so hopefully you can still see this. Let's move out all our letters. And you see how this one came in? The tabs are this way, right? And I don't know how long the tabs are technically. So what you need to do is, the first off is, if you want to max out your letters as big as possible using 12 by 12 cardstock, then of all your letters, you need to find the one letter that has the longest tab. Because that tab, I'm gonna leave these two over here. I think we can see all our letters, right? So you need to find within each, out of all the letters, find the longest tab available. So in this case, I feel as if this L looks kind of long as well as this D. Actually, I can't tell at all. So <laughs> what we need to do is we need to have all the tabs standing straight up so that we can see which one is the longest, all right? So this first one, for instance, let's ungroup it. Now, if you don't care to maximize your letters, then right now you can use it as is, I think. So this one is, let's see, six inches high. This one is, we gotta ungroup it so you can't even see how big each, each individual item is. So six inches. So I think the way she has it is when you first import all these um, letters in, I think each letter is at six inches. So if you wanna remain at six inches, then you're done. You can just work with the file as is. Yeah, it looks like all the all of them come in at six inches. So I think six inches is your um, the one size that works for all of them. This one's gonna be a little bit taller. And let's see this one. And it could be that one, oh, and this one's only 5.8 inches. So interesting. Why is that? Because this one can can be taller. So okay, let's go back to my original thought, which is let's find out which one has the longest tabs, right? So for L, we need to turn it standing straight up, right? Like if you're thinking about a classroom full of kids. Think of all these tabs as little kids, okay? We gotta line them all straight on the floor to see who's tallest, right? The way it is right now, like they're not all standing on the same floor. Someone's on a step up here, someone's laying down. We gotta get everyone standing straight up and on the same floor. So let's rotate this 90 degrees, okay? And the reason why I go to the rotate, um, feature and actually type in 90 degrees is when I find that when I start to use this to turn it, I never get it standing straight up. So that's, that's my thing. Okay. So over here, let's grab these two guys and go to rotate and rotate 90. So now they're standing up. Then, um, okay. Then let's see. So we can grab these tabs and see, uh, these two look like they're standing on the same, right? So this is nine inches. So we could technically make that bigger. These three are not lined up together. So we got to grab them, arrange. Oh, actually it doesn't matter. You don't have to do that. I, I apologize. What you need to do is for each letter, look at the tallest tab, right? This one's the tallest. So this one's 9.7. How tall is this one? 9.1. So right now this is the winner. Let's see. This one looks like it's going to be smaller. 
Um, this one, this tab looks like the largest one, 7.9. So right now, D is our longest tab at 9.7, right? Let's see, 9.05, 8.7, great. So D is our long, longest tab. So actually, right now, what we can do is, this is, this is 9.7, right? Let's click on that again. Yeah, this is the one that's driving the height. When I grab all three, everything else falls within that length, right? So now I can just go in and type 11.5. Actually, no, that's not what I wanna do. Undo that for a second. This is what we wanna do. So now our letters, instead of being six inches, let's ungroup this for a second. Okay, so you gained about half an inch. I don't know if it's worth the effort. That's for you to decide. But let me undo this for a second because this is not how, in order to make all of them align, this is what we need to do next. So let me go back to, so now we know the letter D is the one that's gonna drive the height for all of them because it has the longest tab. So that tab max can be 11 and a half inches, right? So now we're going to make sure that everything else lines up. So here's, here's where it gets annoying. So we gotta grab all of these um, and we gotta put it in a single line because we're gonna put them all in one row because when we line them all up, we're gonna say the height is 11.5. And that way, they'll all get bigger. They're never gonna be at 11 and a half because the tallest one is this one. That one's gonna be 11 and a half. So, and right now it's not right. Oh shoot, it didn't undo yet. Sorry, let me go back. I'm making this way worse than it is, I apologize. Before you resize that D, I resize that D to tell you how big the D can be, which, <laughs> I feel like Beavis and Butthead right now because I'm like, the D, the D. Um, but <laughs> let's see. So before, okay, so now it's back. So now this is 9.7. It is our longest tab, right? So now what we need to do is we need to get all our kids, back to my classroom analogy, all my kids need to line up in a straight line. So I need to move all of these and kind of in a straight line. It's okay that they're not all right there, but this will be okay. And you wanna keep it like this because you probably want to see where all your tabs are, you know, like which tab goes with which. I would say that it's, um, if you cut this all at one time, uh, this is a lot of letters. Usually I do, words like one so three letters four ten get it so i haven't i have to say i don't think i've done one where it has this many letters so when you're cutting all these tabs each letter has two to three tabs and you've got six of them so let's say worst case scenario is you you're going to have about 15 tabs so you're going to need to figure out is this tab for D or R or L? So just keep that in mind when you're doing that. All right, so now we have them all kind of lined up, right? So we wanna select all, and you wanna go to align, and you wanna align bottom. This is lining them all straight up. <clears throat> now, you may notice that the letters have these little marks, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because the letters are not they're all small, so we don't care. They just need to be in line. And now we're gonna change the height to 11.5. So you'll see that they all get bigger and they all get bigger proportionately. So that way, right now, and the, and the D is the only one. See, like, let me select all again so you can see this. And I'm gonna zoom in so that you can really see this. So give me a second. All right, here we go. So you see this blue line, this blue from the bottom to the top is 11 and a half inches. So everything got resized to 11 and a half inches as a group. 
So that means your L got bigger, right? But it's not all the way to 11 and a half. The tabs for L got taller, but again, not to 11 and a half. The only one that's gonna be at 11 and a half is the tabs for the letter D, and only the tallest one, right? Everything else is gonna come up short because we already knew that the letter D had the longest tab, and that's the only tab going to 11 and a half inches. And there you have it. So now, all your letters will be proportionate to each other and they're at the max size for this name. The end. Mic job. <laughs> I hope I didn't lose you. I hope it made sense and now you know how to resize your letters. All right, that's all I have for you. I will see you next time. Drop in the comments, let me know what you think, if that was confusing as heck because I made that mistake where I needed to undo. So, all right, I will see you guys, bye.